they can ride, I mean. You mean how long do you have to be here? Look, we have antibiotics, but it's not enough. If Iron Mike lets you stay, your friend will have a chance. So what happened? How'd he burn his arm like that? We ran into some rippers south of Belknap. Guess they didn't like his tattoos. Jesus. I've heard about them doing shit like that to themselves, but not to people they're trying to recruit. <sighs> Boozer wasn't any goddamn recruit. Oh, guess Tucker should have made a deal with them like Iron Mike. Come on, Ricky. He just he doesn't get it. Carlos isn't going to honor any deal with Lost Lake, not for long anyway, and Mike, he just doesn't see it. He sees more than you think. When You've I always had your good side, D. You've just been doing your best to kill it. Saw a bunch of freaks. <sighs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. You think they grouped together like that for a reason? I mean, like a community or something? No. The mines are gone. I remember reading about it, the, the virus, I mean, before. It does something to the brain. You cannot believe a word he is going to say. Eddie is soft. Mike, we do not have enough for those that pull their own weight, let alone a goddamn cripple. He's not oh, a cripple. On. He can work. He... I say we throw them out on their asses. Mike, that is not who we are. Jesus. Listen to you. And you. You tired of being Tucker's little bitch, finally? Raymond, huh? stop it. Don't call me that. I'm pretty tired, all right. All right, See? enough! See? You know who the fuck this guy is, and you know what he- You hold on! And you! You put that shit away. Mike. Deacon was I one that know. brought me the good- I know. And I know what kind of man he is. What he's done. He done any worse than you? Ricky, how about me? We've all been out in the shit, Schizo. We've all done things we're not proud of. We need another rider. Oh, now, wait a minute. I just need a few days and some antibiotics. I'll do whatever it takes. Sure, Mike. Whatever you say, I'm on board. Walk with me. I don't trust don't you. Don't start with me. So you're the one who brought them in. I didn't bring them in, Schizo. Boozer needed help. But he broke into the infirmary. The tackle shop isn't exactly secure. You were supposed to fix that weeks ago. Oh, so what? You're hooked up with Addie, so now I gotta go over and fix her locks? Isn't that your job? No, it's not my job. My job is keeping the camp safe. Addie's job is keeping the drugs safe. Sure, whatever. Ricky told me you stopped running for Tucker. Sent that little girl here instead. I'm sorry I lied to you before about doing runs for Tucker. How long you been drifting, you and Bill? I don't know. Like I said, time gets lost. If folks don't put down some roots, figure this shit out, grow some food, come next spring, won't be none of us left. 
If you give Boozer what he needs, let us hold up here till he can ride. Like I said, I will do whatever you need. I just, I, I want you to know that as soon as he's patched up, we're going to put together some gear. We're going to ride north. North, huh? There's a camp up there near Smith Rock. Boozer's never been there. Anyway, got a lot of ghosts down here. It's time to move on. Fresh start, eh? Yeah, I can respect that. Now go on. Leave me be. I got some thinking to do. Sure, Mike. Yeah, whatever you say. Just have Ricky radio me if you need something. Deacon, hey, is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, actually, that's not why I'm here. Okay. Came by to see if there's anything you need for the uh, infirmary. Actually, we're running low on everything. I mean, we could always use more meds, sterile bandages, instruments. Uh, here. Hmm. Liston knife. Yeah, it was used by doctors in the Civil War to perform operations in the field. Operations? Yeah, you know, when they didn't have any anesthesia or laudanum. I wrote down where you might be able to find one. <laughs> it's the brochure for the visitor center at Sherman Sherman's camp. camp yeah, yeah, the plate's crawling with all the freakers. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, uh, Deacon... Thank you. On a list of knife. Head to Sherman's camp. The place is going to be crawling. Swing by when I get a chance. Deacon out. Shit. Sherman's camp. Getting close. Shit, that's right. I gotta finish burning out these nests. Later, finish burning out these nests. Shit, perfect time. Something for me. Look, there's a digital display on your radio. Send you a coded message, coordinates, that location. 
O'Brien, what the hell is this all about? Just... I smell it. <sighs> Gotta be getting close. <laughs> there you go. Bounty. I got that knife you were looking for. Thank you. I got no idea how bad you need this. No problem. Glad to help. There's another nest. Well, let's burn it up. Deke, this is Tucker. You out there? Uh, Tuck, yeah, I'm here. I'm guessing you got another job for me. So, okay, I'll stop by. Deke out.
gate. It's Deacon! I worked at the Humane Society. <laughs> Hey. Oh. Here's that knife you were looking for. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Stay down, I got the gate. I'm here. Jesus, don't... Don't sneak up on me like that. Did you find anything out about Sarah, about the woman that I put on your chopper? Nothing. Nothing? Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. It's gonna take some time, okay? I'm risking my neck here. If anyone back at HQ finds out, those guys with the guns over there... You're all the order the same question. team, O'Brien. Just looks that way. Look, I don't have time to explain it right now, but... It's why I need your help. My help? Just, look, just take it. It's a, it's a wavelength recorder and some GPS trackers. I just need you to... We're out of time. Look, I... Shit, I don't even know your name. Deacon, Deacon St. John. Look, look, Deacon St. John, if you want me to risk my neck helping you find whatever her name... Uh, Sarah? Then, yeah, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Okay. Keep the radio close. I'll contact you in a couple of minutes. You don't even know my name? Oh, you're gonna know it before we're done, O'Brien. And keep the radio close. It's been right here the whole time, you son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, how long do I have to wait now? Hello? You there, Deacon? Yeah, I'm here. Now, what's this all about? What do you want? All right, I put a blocker on this channel. It's secure. What do you want? I've sent a series of coordinates to your radio. I need you to go to those locations. What? Why? Just listen to me. There are several Nero task groups doing work in the field. I need to know what they're doing. Then why don't you ask them? I can't. Look, I said it's a long story and I don't have time to get into it right now. Let's just say the men above me, way above me, are running a lot of field missions, all separate from each other. Nobody knows what anyone else is doing. So the world ends and you assholes carry on like nothing's changed. Where? I sent you the coordinates. Okay, oh, Jesus Christ. All right, I will see what I can do. Just get to as many of them as you can. There are active LZs, landing sites, sample drop-off locations. Yeah, yeah, I got it, but you better have something for me, O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, I got it too. Hold on. Okay, all right. What's going on, O'Brien? 
Brian. Why am I out here in the shed chasing choppers down for you? The destination's classified. I'm locked out of their files. So I can't give you the coordinates to the LZ. You have to follow them in. Jesus, don't you guys have spy, spy satellites? Shit like that? And not that I have access to, no. I told you. Locked out. Yeah, I heard you. Please don't. Come on now, can't let him get too far ahead. O'Brien, they're landing! Good. I have the coordinates now via your radio. You better go in on foot. On foot? Remember, you can't let them see you. O'Brien, I'm here. What do you want me to do? So you want me to sneak into an LZ filled with heavily armed Kevlar wearing soldiers who shoot on sight so that you can spy on some asshole on a pocket protector? Pocket protector? Really? I have a fucking PhD, asshole. One of which stands for piled high in deep. Do you still have the tracking devices I gave you? Well, I was gonna sell them, but most of us don't have access to shit like, you know, satellites. Yeah. Place one of them on their helo. Almost all of these filed missions include stops that aren't on the books. I want to find out where they're going next. O'Brien. You don't need to ask. I'm already looking into what records we have about where evacuees were taken. O'Brien out. <sighs> this just gotta be it. I heard something. What the hell are you guys doing out here? Yeah, I don't think I've ever what seen the hell, O'Brien. What's wrong? 
Hey, tell you what's wrong. Your boys were carving out the guts of the freak while I was still alive. They're not my boys. What do you care? Aren't you a... What do you guys like to call yourselves? Drifters? <laughs> don't you kill them infected for money or whatever shit you heard them with? Yeah, I kill freaks, but I don't carve them open while they're still alive and listen to them scream. Did you get my data? Yeah, I got your data. Okay, I'm uploading it now. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. O'Brien? O'Brien! Ah, God damn it, he did it again. O'Brien, talk to me. It's ah, shit, you better be in touch, O'Brien. Camp full of squatters. You're the assholes who tried to ambush me. I guess your days of setting ambushes around here are over. Alright, where did you hide your bunker, huh? I know you got one.
There it is. Down the hatch. Looks like they marked it up pretty good. for the poor bastards who own the one that I just cleared out. Huh? Not so good, I'm guessing. Since they were all dead long before I ever got there. <laughs> How the hell am I gonna get in? Come on, where the hell are you? Through here. Yeah, this'll do it. Inside here. Later. All right. Where are you, kid? Is this uh, Lisa's handwriting? I want to forget. Sounds like something she would write. Always need scrap.
Something's out there. Yeah, it was way out there. Huh? You hear something? Freak! Freak! So hard. Is it? God damn, this has got to be close. Jesus, something went down. If the poor bastards had anything worth looking for.
gotta be close to a nest. Whew, I can smell it. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
I smell it. <sighs> Gotta be getting close. Ah. I smell a nest.
Somebody's at the gate. See how the lazy bastard's doing. How you doing, uh, booze man? Are you are you tired of laying around yet, boozer? Hey, you can't be in come here, on, Deacon. Come on, hey, come what's on, going Deacon. on? How's he doing? He needs his rest. Uh, don't mess around with me, Addy. I asked you, how was he doing? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, Not good. Damn, it's cold. The They're not enough. <laughs> Never no, wait a second. You said that I, I said that we would try. <sighs> Look, all we can do is wait. Uh, okay. All right. Deacon, no, Deacon, there's, uh, you Deacon, know what? There's Deacon, something I can do Deacon, about this. Stop, I can get. Stop! What? I know you want to smash something. I see that look yes. in your eyes. Well, you know what? You go right ahead, but you do it out there. Daddy, go. I can... Look, <sighs> there is nothing else you can do. Please. Just go home. Go home, Deacon. Uh. Deacon, Deacon. So. You gonna make it? Yeah, Schizo. He'll be fine. I just... He needs a few days. Come with me to the lodge. I want to show you something. I got shit to do. I'm sticking my neck out here. Trust me. You're gonna want to see this. Just... Just listen. A couple of months back, this drifter comes into camp, telling all kind of crazy stories. Said he worked at the airport, was on the ground back in Farewell when shit went down. One night, they were expecting a flight in from Portland. Only it never shows up. The plane is doing the haul for the Red Cross. The Red Cross? Yeah. You getting it? Uh, Medicine, doctor shit, cargo hold sick. full of it. Maybe uh, even some of those uh, anti uh, whatever the fuck's. The Antibiotics. Yeah, yeah, uh, shit like that. Uh, Just like that. Where? Hey, you know? keep your voice down, will you? Uh, Let's talk inside. So this drifter, he's working in the control tower when the plane disappears off the radar. Poof. Now you see it, now you don't. Right about here. South of Mount Washington. That's what he said. It came down intact. A controlled crash or whatever. The guys got to listen to the pilot bleeding out from a broken pelvis on the ground. Okay, so you haven't sent anyone to find this? Nope. Why not? Because the old man won't have it. Iron Mike, what's the... Oh, right. Rippers. <laughs> you catch on quick. Everything west of the Iron Ridge here belongs to Carlos and his merry band of bald-headed freak-alikes. Oh, shit. So you go over there and you get caught? You head north, brother. Otherwise, Iron Mike's treaty with rest in peace goes... No, 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 I get it, I get it. Let me ask you a question. Why are you telling me this? Oh, wait a minute. First off, I'm not telling you shit. You remember that? Second off, you're a goddamn drifter. What am I supposed to do? Follow you around like I'm your little bitch? Keep your ass out of trouble? All right. I have things to do. I get it. You're just a regular stand-up guy, right, Schizo? Just trying to stay alive. Like everybody else. Hey. You do what you gotta do. At the end of the day, that's all we got. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, Schizo. 
Keep your radio close. I'll be in touch. back, we were riding west along the old Belknap Road, <laughs> and a bunch of crazy assholes, almost naked, all scarred up. <clears throat> I took a knife to them. Joe said they were rippers. Good to see you again. Jazzy. Uh, St. John, I got a job for you. Cope. You want Manny to work on your bike? Only one way that's gonna happen. I gotta do runs for you. Yeah, I heard you. I need you to deal with a marauder camp near those burned out shacks along the Cascade Highway. You know where I'm talking about? Yeah, I know it. Radio me if you want to know more. Uh, never gonna run out of firewood. Something to be thankful for, huh? Yeah. If only we could eat wood. Let me get the gate. Send anyone to find him? Yeah. And no. Deacon St. John. Now I got him. Go about. Stupid drifter. No more. No more. Just shut up. I'm cutting you loose. What? What? You're not. Copeland sent me. Come on, get up. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. They were following us on a supply run. I didn't know what to do. Hey, shut up. Can you run? What? Yeah, yeah. Well, then run. Go. Thank you. I'll tell Copeland you saved my life.
deep. What the hell's the name of the drifter who keeps playing these out? I can't believe how many things. What can I get for you? Can I help you? Deke, we got a problem. Yeah, Tuck, what's up? You remember Alkai said that Rippers were spotted. Heading our way? Yeah, I remember. He said he didn't try to stop them. Well, we've seen him scouting hey, the hot springs. A couple of men followed work. him back to their camp, like in the cliffs south of the Twin Craters. Goddamn Rippers. Please, no. Don't worry about it, I'll oh, take God. care of them. I got a score to settle. A score? What are you talking about? Good, no, no, never mind. Hey, how's it going? Low on fuel, huh? Fill her up. Ah, I rode this one hard. John, you there? Yes, yeah, Gizzo, I'm here. Now that business we were talking about, it's gonna take me a bit. I gotta go check on security at the border with Iron Butte. Check on the rippers there, if you know what I mean. Uh, no, Skizzo, I haven't got a clue. Why don't you spell it out for me? Nice try, smartass. Remember, I'm going out on a limb here. Don't make me regret it. Anyway, I'll be in touch real soon. In the meantime, make yourself useful around camp. Prove Iron Mike was right for a change. Sure, what do you say? Say, 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 John, out. Oh, goddamn rippers. Fuck with my friend, I'm not even fucking kill every goddamn one of you. I'm coming! Fuck you, you wanna rest in peace? Let me help you out! Send you. Stupid piece of What's your name, asshole? Oh, I'm killing. Come on, you son of a bitch. Come on, you son of a bitch. Come on. Fuck you, rippers. None of you are getting out of here alive. Rest in peace, let me help you out! You seek the path. Oh, Move it back! I need covering fire! Cope, I found your man. Is he alive? Barely. He's heading back to you on foot. You might want to send someone. I'll do that. <clears throat> Thank you, St. John. Copeland out. Always need this. Tucker, you there? You didn't gotta worry about that Ripper camp no more. I took care of him, every last one of them. 
Sounds like you did have a score to set up. Alkai said there's rumors going around that the Rippers are after the biker boys. Let's just say they fucked with the wrong guy. Beacon out. Your drugged out disciples even listen to this shit. Hey, St. John, where you at, brother? I'm here, Schizo, but I'm not your goddamn brother. Hey, no skin off my nose. Just doing what I can to help you, bro. That business we discussed? Let's just say uh, you should head out that way now. Huh. You mean the border with the rivers? Very funny. I meant no such thing. <laughs> All I said was, if you were thinking about taking a ride, or what do you drifters like to call it? Ride in the open road? Now would be a good time to do it. Yeah, let's get some, like always. I got you. St. John out. Yeah, meat. Patrol, god damn it. Schizo, it's St. John. I'm at the border. You see any of my men around? No, Schizo, it's clear. Look, how much time do I got? Time? Time for what? All I know is I got a card game going on with a few of my guys. A couple of them maybe they should be out on guard duty, but I'm letting that slide. If I had to guess, I'd say we'd be playing all night. So until morning, got it, Deacon out.
don't need these.
Please will fix him up, and then we ride out of here, head north, like he said. Deacon St. John, you there? Deke, this is Ricky. Over. Damn it, I can't let her know I'm out here. Uh, hey, Ricky, this is Deke. Uh, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Deke, where are you? I need to get... Oh, yeah, sorry, Ricky. I don't have time for this right now. It's Deacon. Behind him! You, you, right up the road. Make sure they don't come back. Now! Find it. What was left of it? Yeah. What was left of it? Hey, I heard gunshots. What's going on? We had a run in with a few rippers, but I handled it. You handled it? What is it? How? I should have known. You should have known what? Jesus, Ricky, who's running security here? You know, I ask myself that shit every single day. I'm done here. Good. So what are you doing out here? What am I doing, Dick? Addie told me to come and get you. Why? Wait, hold on for a second. Is Boozer okay? I don't know. We gotta go. What's wrong with Boozer? All I know is Addy told me to find you. When I asked around, I found out you and Schizo were heading up here. Now I know why. I don't know what you're talking about. The crash site? The medical supplies? It's no big secret, Deke. Iron Mike was negotiating with Carlos, making a deal so our camp would split it with the Rippers. Oh, bullshit! What do you mean? I mean bullshit! I was there! Had that cargo hold's already been looted. Tracks from the crash site all head south. Now, I've been dealing with the fucking Rippers for months. You can't trust a goddamn thing they say. Now you're sounding like Schizo. Schizo, he put you up to this. He told you about the crash site. Uh, yeah, great. So now you're calling me Schizo's errand boy. No? Then how'd you find out about it? A drifter up at Copeland's camp. Like you said, it ain't no big secret. Yeah, right. Well, Schizo's been trying to pick a fight with the Rippers for months. Guess it's lucky you came along to do it for him. So let me ask you something. Can I stop you? Last time I saw you, before last winter, you told Iron Mike to go fuck himself because he wouldn't pay you to bring in survivors. It's not exactly what happened. I remember it pretty clearly. Iron Mike said he'd have nothing to do with slavers. Okay. We never forced anyone to come in against their will. How about Tucker? Same thing true for her? I don't know. You ever think when you roll up on someone, starving out into shit that maybe hasn't slept in days, reach the point where they stop running from men like you, you ever think they don't have a choice? But you took them to the hot springs just to say, earn a few camp credits. Everybody's got a choice, Deacon. It takes us a lot, too, bringing in someone who can't work can't earn their way. You know, you just be glad that Iron Mike isn't like you. William. William, if you can hear me, I need you to stop. Addy, what's going on? Loser. <clears throat> Go and hold him. What the hell are you doing? Listen, what are you doing? Listen, we need to do this and we need to do this right now. You what? No. 
Don't you, oh, don't you take Deacon. it! No, no, De no, you're not, no way, no, you're not gonna Deacon, do this to Deacon, listen to me. The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is gonna save the arm. Now listen, I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. we're losing him. Wait. Deacon. All right. All right, all right. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. All right, hey, I just uh, need you to stay with him. me. Hold him there. Okay. Oh, hold him. Deacon. Deacon. Okay. Hold him down right there. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Ah! Oh, goodness, I ah! it from losing. No, 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 he's losing too much blood. You gotta stop. He's losing too much blood. Hand me the gun. Ah! 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 Oh! Oh, no. Boozer, come on, man. Hold him! Okay, pal, where? Where do I hold him? Just hold him like this. Stop panicking I'm and I'm trying! Hey. You did good in there. When I was in high school, I thought, hmm, maybe I should be a mechanical engineer, or should I be a surgeon? I guess I should have been a surgeon. <laughs> oh. And you. Hey, hey, okay. You know, you saved your friend's life today. I don't think he's gonna see it that way. Yeah, well, I think he will. I gotta go and give him his IV drip. And you know what, I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know, but it's gonna save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot of lives. I gotta go help Addy. Mike, just settle down, okay? Deacon! Get out here! <coughs> I heard what you did. I wasn't about to let him die. Mike, let it go. It's done. I know that, goddammit. Boozer gonna live? I don't know. The Ripper saw you. Followed you back. When Carlos finds out about this, there's gonna be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself. You are writing checks with other men's blood. I hope you're good with that. You did what had to be done. Mike, wait up. I worked at the Humane Society, had a small office, a dog pen outside of sisters. Had maybe a hundred dogs, strays mostly. St. John, look up. Sorry. 
Brian, I'm at one of your beacons. Which one? What do you mean, which one? This Nero radio has a GPS, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. I, uh, okay. Uh, you're at Olali Falls. Okay, good. Uh, keep an eye out. A field op is going to be there any minute. I'll Brian out. Oh, Brian! Oh, God damn it. O'Brien, come in. Your friends are here. O'Brien. I told you, they're not my friends. Okay, head in on foot. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, what do you want I me to do? I need the area uh, one of these tracking devices. Move it out. Secure the oh, not this time. I'm already tracking this one. Follow the researcher. She's there to investigate an infected subject. The freak that was tagged in a nearby cave. Follow armed Nero goons into a cave. Just stay close to her. While you're in range, I can intercept her data. Well, Brian. I'm still working on the info you want, don't ask. Then why the hell am I talking to you? O'Brien out. Sound off, people. I'm good. <laughs> clear. Looks good to me. All clear? Whatever the hell it is, or what, what it's doing. I want to know what the hell's going on, O'Brien. Why are they out here? What the fuck are you doing? O'Brien! Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Oh, boy. This is going to get old fast. Now, where is it? God damn it. It's, it's got to be close. Lost 
Lake to Deacon St. John. Are you there? Uh, yeah, Ricky, what's up? Iron Mike says you volunteered to stick around, do some runs for the camp, but that you refused to work for Schizo. Yeah, something like that. Well, I can't say I blame you. Okay, well, I guess I'm stuck with you. So stop by the mechanic shop, and we've got a job for you. Yeah, okay, Deacon out. Yeah, Ricky, what's up? I just wanted to say I'm, I'm sorry about what happened to Boozer. Yeah, I'm probably not as sorry as he is. Look, Addy wanted you to know that if you hadn't brought it up this tonight, Boozer would be in a lot more pain. Yeah, well, it just made it easier for you to carve him up. Anyway, I. We hope he makes it. He's my friend, too, you know? Hey, listen, um, thanks for bringing us in, Ricky. I, <clears throat> I gotta go. Deacon out. <laughs> gotta be close to a nest. It's my way. Addy, you there? Deke and St. John to Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Deke! Hey. Uh... Boozer. Hey. Uh, nothing. I, uh... Got tired of listening to the Radio Free Oregon. Can only take so much of his truth or bullshit, you know? Deke, uh...
Oh, here we go. Done. And we got green lights. Green lights are good. Figures. Fuse blown. Oh, where the hell am I gonna get a fuse? <laughs> Fuse, yes. down on me. Yes. Finally. All right. Let's see what they got there. I think that's all of them.
your back. Hey, Ricky, you said you had a job for me? Hey, Deke. Yeah. You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red? Red Riley. Yeah, never heard of him, but let me guess. Ginger? What? Red hair? No. It was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with god-awful red color. He made quite the impression. No, <laughs> no. I bet. Anyway, he used to do runs for us back in the day until one day he decides he didn't like the camp credits we were paying. So he up and kills Lindsay Fuller. Who? Lindsay. Work supply before Blair? Wait a second, so he killed an unarmed woman? Oh, she was armed. She just wasn't expecting him to shoot her in the face. Will you listen? So Red murders her, cleans out her supply hut, and then takes off before anyone knows what's happened. Got away clean. Oh, that son of a bitch. Until now. He and his men have been spotted up at Camp Pioneer. You don't gotta ask. I, uh, I got this thing about him. About killing unarmed women. I know. So I knew you'd want to handle it. Yeah, like I said, I got this covered. Um, what else can you tell me about him? Not much. Oh, wait. He chews tobacco. I heard he was such an addict that he rounds up cigarette butts, takes out the tobacco, and chews that. Well, that's disgusting. So now I got two reasons to kill him. Yeah, but be careful, Deke. Shit running around here. Hey, Deke, let me get the game. I'm a camp pioneer, and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds like they're clearing breeds. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out. Where the hell are you? Nudes. 
Ow, oh, ow, they're killing newts. You okay, what's this? Oh, okay, yes, yes, cigarette butts, yes. Good. You're in. Jesus. Well, if you gotta go, you gotta go.
these shacks. Good to see you, Deke. Deke? <laughs> How's my favorite bounty hunter? Hey, hey, Ricky. I got him. Deacon, what a relief. Lindsay has some folks she was close to. I'll let him know. Yeah, okay. I'll see you around, Ricky. Thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been out to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on, see if you can keep up. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 